Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ina and I grow most of my plants here in London. I have a collection of orchids and some other house plants as well. So I'm giving the, you this introduction because today I will show you a little bit of my routine of taking care of my plants. Saturday is the day that I usually water all of my orchids and house plants. And I decided to take you along to show you how I do it how I keep up with my watering routine. Just to give you a background, I do work full time. As I mentioned before, I work, in, I live in a flat, so I don't have any outdoor space. These plants, they need me, myself, <laughs> my hand working to be able to feed and water them. So I decided to show you how I water my plants because Probably, I do imagine people are curious about that. I used to be very curious how people could keep up with their watering. So I'll tell you basically how I do it. It's not something magical or the most amazing, I don't know, method, but that's how I do it. If that's something that you are curious about or you want to know about, please stay here with me and I'm going to give you a few tips and show you how I do it. So let's start. So as I mentioned, I do have most of my collection here in my living room. I will link some videos down below if you don't know how I keep or display it around my house. I will show you. I'm sorry about the dog that is barking behind me from my neighbors. So I have here my watering can and I have as well some bottles. These are just some old water bottle that I, I reuse and I'm reusing that for a long time. As I mentioned before, it's not something magical or don't expect to see anything amazing here. It's very basic and very simple. I used to have the one big pump sprayer and I thought that it would be amazing, that I would use that a lot. In the end, I was spending more time filling the pump sprayer and like pumping to water these plants especially because I have some of them uh, on the top shelf in here. So I need to have a chair to lift me. So in the end, the pump sprayer for me was not a good way of saving time. It was much harder for me to water these plants with the pump sprayer than doing that with simply a watering can. This one is very small, so yeah, it won't be enough to water all of my plants. That's why I feel other bottles in there. Other things that I have in here is, because it's spring, so most of my plants are growing vegetatively, I use a little bit of fertilizer on this water. It's a common fertilizer for orchids that you buy in local shops. I don't use reverse Moses water. London water, it is hard, it's pretty hard, I know that. But the thing is, it is a hobby. It's something that I've, I do because it helps me lift my mood. It's something that I like, I enjoy it. And I don't have money to spend buying any reverse Moses water machine. And I'm sorry, I forgot the name of it right now. But I, I've already looked online. It's pretty expensive. And also, if I keep buying bottles of water, I don't think it's sustainable in any way. Because my plants, they are doing okay. I know that they would be much happier if I provide them with some uh, lighter water, water without so many salts but I can't do that in, at the moment. So I have here tap water, just to let you know. So I have here tap water. I do have a little bit of fertilizer on it. Another thing that I always have very close to me, is what I'm gonna show you now, one second. It is my leaf shine. I do have my leaf shine because I have an ongoing infestation of fruits. So when I see something, I always look in between my, the leaves of my plants. And when I find a pest, I just spray it. That's why I take a little bit longer. If I didn't have any pests, what I would do is, let put this back there. I use my watering can and uh, it's pretty simple because I do have moss in my pot and I have moss on the bottom layer. It's okay if I leave some water on the pot because it will be sucked up by the moss. So I don't need to throw this water away. So what I simply do is I look at that. I know, for example, I haven't watered this for a week. So I can see that the median is dry because this week is pretty warm. I know that this one, again, is pretty, pretty dry. Just go pour a little bit of water in most of my plants. That's how I do it. So for example, this bubble filling, this is a self-watering pot. It's a clay pot and self-watering container down here. 
So I know that the self-watering container is still filled with water. That's just one example. So in this case, I don't need to water it. But most of the other plants, they will need to be watered today. I know them very well, but it's not as simple as that because I said that I have a ongoing infestation with thrips. So for example, I have back here, this is my cherry baby. So when I'm watering it, I pour water on top of the pot and everything. I always look in between the leaves. I'm gonna show you. As you can see, it's a huge plant and was infested with thrips. So I'm always looking to see if I can see an insect in here because these ones are so hard to treat. So I don't only water these plants, I check for pests as well because I know they have been heavily affected. But as you can see, it's a big pot, has no water inside it and I always fill it with water. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to move the camera very close to my upper shelving, I'm going to grab a chair and I'm start doing it and I'm gonna take you along so as I mentioned that's what I usually do I just you know pour water here I can this one is a this all of these here they are big plants and I know I know that they they can handle lots of water I'm gonna remove them here because again I have to check all of my plants pretty dry all of my super big incisions are here I'm just pouring some water I don't have space so because I don't have space as you can see I had to create these a thousand of layers of plants There is a caveat here though, I know that you can see my hand probably most of the time. Because some of them are so behind, I do need to remove the pots. And I like to check on them, that's what I told you before. If I'm like, let's say I don't have any time, I'm going away, I have, I don't know, I have some important things to do, I can literally just drop some water on my plant, but I really enjoy checking on them. I don't know if you can see here, but I have my big Vanda. So today I'm not gonna take them out, but each two weeks I don't water them like that. I take them to my bath. I water them in my bath. It is a big thing because they are quite heavy and I have to remove them from here, but that's not what I'm gonna do today. I just put, I just place some water on the top of the spot and I'm gonna place everything back. I know that everybody is water, they are all happy. So I still have some water here, but I didn't finish this shelving. I'm almost there because it is hot, so I'm having to use a little bit more water. But when it's, when it's winter, if I pour a little bit of water, it is enough to keep these plants going for one week. But now that's warm, it's not enough. So I will fill that again and I will keep doing that on the upper shelving. I'm going to show you how I do with the rest of the plants. So with my macrame hangers, as you can see, they are all around my windows. I have two options. It's the same thing. I can basically pour some water here. I do that most of the time. I just like pour some water. I'm not the tallest person in the world, so as you can probably see, so excited because I think this one has a shade. I'm gonna show you. This one is a heavy drinker. I think clay pots, they have its advantage and its disadvantage. So they dry pretty quickly when it's hot. So I have to water this one like multiple times a week if I want to really keep up with its watering. I can't, to be honest, it's not the bad thing. Something that I love doing when I'm watering my plants is not only look for pests, but also looking to see if I have, I don't know, flower spikes, for example, or sheets, or if they are growing nice. I want to show you the sheet 
of this one. This one is... Where's the tag? <laughs> I have no idea where I placed the tag of this plant, but I will find it. I don't know if it is focused on, on the plant or not. Anyway, this is a heat, so it may have a flower spike. The water finished here, so I just pour more water here. So the window seals are the easiest ones because I don't have any plants in front of it or behind it. So I just go. I have some house plants here as well. I have already fertilized them recently. So here is my Hoyas. They are growing super nicely. And I do water everybody that I see that needs watering. That's how I water my plants, basically. As I said, it's not something magical or... Let me adjust, probably, you're seeing the plants behind me. It's fine as well. Let me do that. I, I never stay in this position. So <laughs> I hope you can see me properly. So, yeah, with these plants here. So it's not something magical or super amazing and amazing strategies. Basically, watering can. I reuse plastic bottles that I have in here when I do have them because I did discover, I did discover recently that's the best way to water these plants. You just pour a little bit of water on them and especially because I do have moss on these plants on the bottom. So is it okay if I keep a little bit of water on their potings? But I do inspect them as well. That's something that I want to make sure <laughs> that I'm sending as a message. I like to look and know what is happening to my plants. When I'm watering them is when I take time to explore, to know if I have a stressed orchid, if they are growing roots, or if I still have pests in some of my plants, or what I have that it's new here. Usually when, as I'm, when I'm watering, that's when I discover most of it. So as an example, let me show you something. So here are my stressed cattleyas. I know how stressed they are. I know how they heavily they've been affected by thrips. I usually I get like a, I check the newer growths like this one. Thrips love them so much. So I know, look, I can see thrips here. <laughs> it's as easy as that. So when I see something like that, I get my, and I do, sprayed from a little bit of a distance. It's not something that will kill the newer growth or have to be pretty careful because they are pretty sensitive. So something that I like to do as well is check how the root system is doing. This one is pulling so many new growths. Uh, I always make a big mess when I'm watering these plants because I remove them. I like to inspect and look inside. But as I mentioned before, if I don't have any time, what I like about having moss in the pot is that I can just pour a little bit of water on top of everybody and I know that they will be okay, they will be all right. I will try a new watering system maybe next month. I found something on Amazon that is very interesting. I will take you along because I will spend almost a month away between August and September, that summer here. I will go to my country, I will go to Brazil. Hey! Hopefully I will make some videos there showing you the jungle, showing you the forest and the, and the orchids there. It's been a month in there, so I need to try something else to see if it will work before I go. That's the things that we have to think when we have living things inside our, our home. So yeah, so that's how I do it. That's how I water my plants. It is pretty simple. It is pretty straightforward. It's not magic. I need to spend, like, if I'm in a hurry, maybe half an hour, an hour, I can pour some water on top of all of them. But I like to take at least two hours inspecting them because it's my time with my plants. <laughs> That's what I want to show you today. It's a little bit of my routine. I keep watering them. And let me know how you do it, how you water your plants, if you have any special method, if you suggest anything that I could do or if you have learned anything with that, or if you have any questions, I would love to hear from you. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and hang here with me. It will be lovely to, to have you here and to exchange some information. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.